Welcome to the channel, my friend, where we mix a little science with a ton of good vibes. Today, we're talking about nano emulsification. If you've gone to a dispensary or you've bought a cannabis or hemp beverage, there's a good chance you've seen the word nano on it. What does that mean? Let's talk about it. Imagine taking your favorite cannabis oil and shrinking it down so that it can be absorbed within water, so it can mix with water. No more oil slick on the top of your liquid. Everything is rounded out and uniform through the nano emulsification process. So here's how we make it happen. We take that cannabis oil, we mix it with a surfactant and water, and then we mix it at a super, super high speed. Think of just like a blender full speed. A lot of people will use ultrasonic machines. And again, most of this is done in like a high-end lab. There's some portable units you can buy to do your own nano emulsions. And I'm gonna to try to find some hacks down the line. Although I don't necessarily think it's worth it most of the time, adding other stuff into something that's so beautiful like that liquid golden, nice potent oil you have. That super high speed blending makes the particles so small. Picture like something that's like 100 nanometers. It's hard to picture, it's small, man, it's small. Just think of it absorbing in water, and think of how quickly water absorbs in your body when you take a sip and you feel hydrated like instantly. That's how quick nano emulsions, nano tech can make it kick in for you. So after that process, you let the nano emulsification chill out and then you can simply add it to any beverages. That's what most beverages use is a nano emulsified product that they mix in to make their beverage and flavors and you could do other things with it too and then again the beauty and the whole premise behind nano emulsification is kind of the bioavailability component so it's known to have a faster onset and just be more readily available in your system so think about it again like drinking a glass of water if you chug that it's going to kick in quick and absorb through your mouth glands your esophagus it's going to go down and be absorbed in your bloodstream and some will still be processed through the liver but think about if you eat an edible, it's gonna go down. Some might be absorbed here, a little in the gut, but it needs to be processed through that liver to create that 11-hydroxy other compound that goes, that's the output after the input of the edible in your liver, guys. So again, we just like to kick it here. Little science with a lot of fun. Thank you for chilling on the channel and let us know if you like nano emulsified gummies or if you just wanna see more info on this topic. Peace out.